Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add and use vocal reduction and isolation on your voice audio on Audacity. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Audacity application. So this is the application itself. As you can see, it was downloaded rightly. And it's actually pretty much easy to download if you just head over to Google and then just click on Audacity. It's going to take you to the official website. And there, you're going to get the on-screen instructions to download right now. So now that we're in the home page, this is what the home page looks like. Let's head over to see how we can add and use vocal reduction and isolation on our voice audio on Audacity. So the first thing I would like us to do is to either import uh, a voice audio or we record. As for me, I would like to import an already existing song or you can just record. I'm going to show you how to record and I'm going to show you how to import. Now, if you want to record, just go ahead and click on this record button right here and then record what you want. And then once you record what you want, you can now head over to click on this that's the other alternative I click on the file and then file is going to pop up some other options right here you can now click on import it's going to take you to the systems folder once you click on audio and then you can now import any audio of your choice but because we're using a voice audio i got changed my mind right now so let's just go ahead and record and once we're done recording we can now tweak the recording to what we want so i'm just gonna have to head over to click on this record button and i'm just gonna say a few things and then once we're done we're just gonna get right into it so hi in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and use vocal reduction and isolation on your voice audio on Audacity. This is Basic Value Channel and we're bringing out the best in you. Alright. Okay. So I'm just going to have to stop there. So as you can see, it has been recorded. So now that it has been recorded, let's head over to doing what we're here for. So how do we, of course, add and use the vocal reduction and isolation on this voice audio on Audacity? First, I'm going to have to select the part that I want to apply this preset or this feature to. Okay, so head over to this uh, left corner and then click on select. Now, once you click on select, you can now select any part of the audio that you want to add the presets too. So here, I'm going to have to drag the slider to where I want. Let's say I want to hear just this part. Okay, so now that it has been selected, I can now head over to use the feature. Now go ahead and check the top of your screen. You're going to find File, Edit, Select, View, Transport, Tracks, Generate, Effect. So go ahead and click on Effect. And once you click on Effect, you're going to see a lot of options like the drop-down menu setup. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of options right here. I'm going well, to show you exactly what to do. Volume and compression, fading, pitch and tempo, EQ faders, noise, removal and repair. That's not what we want. Distortion, modulation, engine. Head over to special. Now that you've head over to special, as you can see right here, you're going to see an extended menu as well with a few options. Now, as you can see, we have what we want, vocal reduction and isolation. So we're just going to click on it. So in this part, you're not going to see how, like, what's the strength? Now, what's the what's the strength of your vocal reduction and isolation? How strong do you want it to be? How um how isolated and how reduced do you want it to be? So we're gonna have to move the slider to see if it has to be very strong. If you're gonna move it towards move the slider towards the right. If you want it to be low, you're gonna move it towards the left. But then just as you move, you're just going to keep reviewing to see if it is exactly what you want. All right. So this is low cop for vocals. All right. And then this is high cop for vocals. All right. So if it is, um, you, you, you want, you want it to be low cop, all right, for your vocals, or you want it to be high cop for your vocals, depending on what you want for your vocal reduction and isolation for your podcast there, you want to get the best of this with this particular reduction in this particular segment 
of this audio just go ahead and tweak this to what you want and once you tweak it to what you want then that's fine and after tweaking it you just just you're just gonna be good to go so all of these are um okay all of these are um you know frequencies all right so these are frequencies that you can definitely so for the low cut it's advisable you move it to 50 that's for the low cut so these are frequencies um and how uh, the low cut actually explains the uh the frequency that's the low frequency taking the cotton the highest path or the highest frequency of the audio in that part and just allow the lower frequencies to overshadow it all right and then the high cut is just the opposite of it all right so making the higher frequencies to overshadow or the higher part of the audio to overshadow the lower part of the audio so remember that we're doing vocal reduction here so you have to be very careful with what you're doing so for these let's high cut for vocals let's take it to ten thousand and um that's it so if you want to preview how it sounds because before you click apply you need to preview how it sounds to see if it suits your fancy so go ahead and click on preview and as you can see as you can hear it you know that's you're gonna hear it and uh so if that is exactly what you want then that's fine just go ahead and click on apply and once you click on apply then you are good to go so this is pretty much how you can add vocal reduction and isolation to your voice audio on audacity now you can go ahead and review this video from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search